How was the earth made? Ouch! My head hurts. Oh my goodness! Who are you? Oh, hi! I'm Yong Yong. I came from Vega Star. Yong Yong from Vega Star? Yeah, correct. I came all the way here because I'm not good at magic. But who are you, and where am I? I'm Uni, and this is a planet called Earth. Earth? Oh gosh, I came too far. Anyway, it wouldn't be bad to stay here in Earth. Have you ever been to Earth? You must be familiar with here. Of course, I even saw the creation of the Earth. Wow, is that true? How was the Earth made? Please tell me. I'm very curious. Hmm. Okay, I'll show you what I saw with magic. Are you curious about how the Earth was made? About five billion years ago, there was only the sun in the solar system. For hundreds of millions of years, because of the power of the sun, dust and rocks hit and cut, creating over hundreds of planets, including the Earth. Four point six billion years ago, the Earth was completely different from what it is today. Like the newly born stars, the Earth was covered with lava. The temperature on the surface was about 1,200 degrees Celsius. It was a terrifying environment with only carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor without oxygen. Even after the Earth was created, something terrible happened. The planet Theia flew 20 times faster than a bullet and hit the Earth. Because of that, the shape of the Earth changed greatly. And then the debris that fell off the Earth united for a hundred million years, and the Moon was created. The Moon we're looking at right now is a satellite born between Earth and Theia. 3.9 billion years ago, a lot of meteors in the solar system fell to Earth. The meteors had water and various elements. Because of the water, the Earth cooled down little by little, and the various elements changed the Earth a lot. Along with the Earth rotation, a huge tidal wave flooded most of the Earth. Sometimes volcanoes erupted, creating islands. Because of the proteins and other elements in the falling meteor. Life was born. Although it is a single-celled organism that does nothing, it is the first living thing on Earth. 514 million years ago, bacteria appeared in oxygen-filled oceans, and vertebrates appeared. A very famous primitive creature, trilobites, was also born at this time. Temperature above the ground was about 30 degrees Celsius, and there was enough oxygen. However, there were no other living things. This is because of the radiation reaching from the sun. Radiation was so deadly that it was hard for any living creature to survive. 230 million years ago, after volcanic activity, there were few living things left on Earth. But the surviving creatures continued to evolve and dominate the Earth. One of them is a dinosaur. About 65 million years ago, dinosaurs were invincible until an asteroid hit the Earth. But even the most powerful dinosaurs were helpless in front of the asteroid impact. Smoke and volcanic ash covered the sun, so all plants were burned or dried to death. When the plants disappeared, the herbivorous dinosaurs starved to death, and the carnivorous dinosaurs that ate them also died out. 
But due to the extinction of dinosaurs, other species of creatures were in their best days. The mammals. Small and many underground mammals were able to survive an asteroid impact. Six million years ago, our ancestral ape appears. They started walking on two feet and survived the ice age 70,000 years ago. They started farming 11,000 years ago and has been living through evolution until now. Wow, it's amazing! Thanks for explaining, Yong Yong. Now I know how the Earth was made. <laughs> I'm glad it was helpful. But do you have anything to eat? And may I stay here until I go back home? Of course! I'll get something to eat from the fridge. Wait a minute! So Yong Yong from Vegastar live together at Yuni's home. What will happen to Yuni and Yong Yong from now on?